Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1 and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In this video we are starting Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Let's begin by saving. I'm the city guard around here. I'm investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. You, you're not him, are you? Nah. Oh, we have a guest! Welcome! You poor man, you must be freezing! If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please, go right in. Ooh, what happened to him? He has a memo in his hand saying, Herring Way. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh. Dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. No! Help! Somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! It's a penguin murder mystery! What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband. Somebody clipped his flippers. By Puffin, you're right. The mayor has been murdered. This is likely a mystery novel. Except it's real! How tragic! But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have had a reason to put this penguin on ice? Right there, that man with a suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey, you. Masa, are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I saw it with my own eyes. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story claiming you're not the culprit. What? Are you nuts, man? Mario's not a murderer. That's completely ridiculous. Thank you. If you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case. A high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Yes. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer herself. If you don't do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I forbid you to leave the city. Alright, alright.
first thing we knew we need to do is get this key out of, out of the frozen water. Warehouse key! On this chimney. <laughs> what in the? Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Ingenious. Me, I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. Clearly, you must have. <laughs> You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be, too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house. Engage stairs. All right, then. Come on. Let's go to the mayor's house. Right behind you. You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out there in such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror! My poor, poor penguin kids. Please forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm. Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? What? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it? Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. No, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer! It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes, yes, you were good friends. Aha, but that was just to cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on, really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here and kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm. This penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Oh my Eek! My husband's returned! He's a ghost! <laughs> oh good gracious, hello everyone! What's going on here? What, what mayor? We thought you were dead! Our backroom murder mystery is a wash. What a plot twist! Huh? What are you talking about? Um I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Oh yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened.
here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, here we were thinking you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Yes, so sorry. I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. I must return to home. I believe I've just had an idea from a sequel of my new novel. I have the best intentions, but for some reason, I always end up causing a ruckus. Oh, sorry about all that. I must apologize. You're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. It's the Quizmaster. It's everyone's favorite Quizmaster, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Yeah, I'm up for it. Question: What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? Um, yellow. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Answered two questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. Continue our journey to Starborn Valley. All right, let's switch to Bombat. Hey, 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 hey! I've been waiting for you, Mario. I've been here forever. I was getting desperate. I thought I was gonna freeze. This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy. I hate it. I can't take it anymore. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm. You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do it. Seriously, Junior Troopa? Haven't you learned your lesson by now? You can't beat Mario! Uh, what do I want to do? Oh yeah, I know. All right, we're getting we're getting some good attacks with uh, the hammer and the bombs.
what to do? What to do? Uh, okay, first I'm gonna go with chill out. Time now. And bam. No. ready to fight you guys yet. I'm going to turn around. And, and now Junior Troopa has now been frozen. It'll probably take a while for him to thaw out, so... So we won't be seeing him again for a while. Okay, let's see. Do we need anything? Handy dial, shooting star, snowman doll, hmm. The enemies in this kind of climate, that's not gonna help. Maple syrup? Hmm, that might come in handy. Life shroom? I guess I could use a few of those. Okay, I'll buy another Super Shroom. I'll get a Maple Syrup. Yeah, I th think that'll do for now. Alright, let's refuel our HP. Alright, and I think we're gonna stop here for now. So until next time, this is Gold League Gamer 1. Later, folks.